sweet. Well, here's our new alternator, new brushes, new bearings, it's a uh, plain phantom black, and of course the case is green, the coil's black, you can see the line, let's see, nice and clean, except for the occasional fingerprint, it's not going to stay new forever, and Better than what it was, that but ugly red. Uh, Dawn's turned out to be a piece of crap. I had a few extra screws I needed. Cases broke, like I said. His armature's junk. Went to AutoZone, got my hose, inch and a half ID with a little more than a 90. Uh, I got some shrink tubing, like six bucks. I got some diodes, I need uh, actually needed three, but I only they only have two. Uh, one's for the alternator so it doesn't feed back to the coil, and I would need two more for the directional switch. I got a 12 volt, 30 amp breaker, this is going in line with the uh, fan. That way if anything happened, and you know, God forbid, I got two for one, I got the... Um, 30 amp fuse in line so that would probably blow before this but it's nice to have these and I have the correct clamps from AutoZone what else we got I gotta run and get some other things I forget what they were but so far we got like 10 bucks, 6 bucks 3 bucks, $1.99 and these are in exchange so still running around diodes a lot of fun to play with I had this on a car before and it saved the car. Um, I put it in line with an amplifier and a wire pinched in a rocker and a curl of smoke and uh, the breaker popped. It gives you about five minutes to go. What was the problem versus watching the car burn? So that's a good thing. Okay, we're going home. We got shrink tube for the diode. Wiring the alternator today. Putting the final hose on the radiator. I got some of this mesh stuff with it too. It's pretty cool. We'll put that on the elbow. All right. See you back in the garage. Okay, I found uh, two of these connectors from the bus. They plug end to end. Put the diode in line, and there's my line that goes to the coil. Or it will once I hook it up there. It's actually laying over there because I need the slack to pull this out for right now. <clears throat> there's my shrink tube. I just got to push it down. Good side of joints. Okay, the alternator lead is connected to the coil. That's the tickler. Go through the diode to pin a number or is it two. Pin number one does the jump. Goes to the hot side for the battery. This goes right to the bat, right to the starter, which is connected to the battery. No reason to run six lines for the rear. So the alternator is done, and that thing's been all rebuilt. So that's one of the things you got to rely on. Water pump's brand new. I checked all the bolts; they're all tight. The bottom radiator hose is in. I ended up butting it completely. Um, there's four inches of stainless pipe underneath that, them two clamps. And I left that uh, friction stuff on the pipe because it looks good. You know, it doesn't touch underneath, it doesn't touch under here, it doesn't touch anywhere until it gets to the uh, radiator. And the radiator has two clamps on it. The uh, filler neck on the 41 Buick is like four inches long. Well, the neck on the bottom there. Yeah. 
Chevy, I wish they made this one a little longer, but they didn't, so that one only ends about here. There's really no room for two clamps. That cost me five bucks, not fifty. Uh, my breaker is in here. And yes, it has a fuse, the same amperage, and the fuse could blow, but what if a line rubs down here or something? That's all. Um, so a couple more things. The alternator's done. The starter's done. The fan is completed. The lower radiator hose is on. Um, with my heater hose, the one that went on that old valve and runs up to the heater core, I'm exactly one inch too short. Five eight, so I gotta go get another one. I need some five sixteen toes to go from here to the overflow on the uh, radiator, and then probably want to go down under the frame, probably like three feet, four feet. Um, then I can put water in it. Dad's watching me through the iPod again. Say hi, Dad. You been listening? <laughs> Um, I gotta wire my uh, electric choke too. I don't think that's connected. Yeah, it's just laying here. Electric choke for the carburetor's gotta be wired too. Probably to the coil. Ignition side on. Um, I don't think they'll affect the coil in any way, but we'll find out. But been a long time coming for that. That thing has given me so many headaches. And, uh, this is coming off. I can't stand that thing. You give these little plastic ends to screw in. I would think enough heat, the thing will melt in. That'd be awesome. Fuel everywhere. I might actually replace that when I go to the store. Um. So I'm chewing gum. <laughs> oh, I'd love to get a fuel pressure gauge. Maybe a moon one if it isn't expensive. Gotta get rid of this clear line. That was just something I had. Fuel pump, does it work? I don't know. Uh, it ran the car that it was in, so we'll see. You wanna play, what, you wanna play with that again? Okay, hold on. Stop playing with it. Bowling pin. Um, somebody asked in the previous video what the bowling pin is for. Uh, of course. If you read the plaque, that was my grandma's. That was her birth date, death date. Well, year. And uh, she was a big bowling fan. And this car's pretty much named after her, so this is one of the things I had that was hers. And what else do you do with a bowling pin? I throw it out, stick it on a shelf. It wouldn't do much up there, right? Or over there. Just a um like a memorial, you know, someone's gonna go, Wow, a bowling pin. How often do you see a bowling pin up close? You don't. <laughs> like that Nova Grill emblem. Oh, the horn. i got to make a bracket for the horn. Maybe I'll do that today. I have to get the correct belt for the alternator. That won't work for now, but it's kind of creepy. But I have to go lay down. I work second shift, and I get to sleep sometime. But, uh, I mean, we've been hauling ass in this thing for... Yeah, four days straight now. And what you don't see is the runs back and forth to the stores to get this, that, and the other. My thermostat is in there. My radiator cap kind of sits back a little. You can get your fingers on it. I think we're going to put a Chevy Eagle right there. Or a Viking. I'm going to hound the guy for my exhaust. Or I'm just going to get it back and do it myself. I'm sick of waiting. We'll see. Um, dying to get this thing turned over, and that's the one thing holding me back. I have to get one back and uh, line up the side ports and then cut it out and mark it and tack it and then bring it back to work and have them weld the remainder of that because I have no idea where my little pipes are that stick out the side where they're going to go. But 
We've got one guy doing it, and uh, another guy I'm hoping can help me out. We'll see, because he probably he watches these videos, too. Okay, guys, it's like uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. i got to go lay down. Have a good night. I uh, got home from the store. I walk in. And those pigeons are up there. They're hiding in the rafter over here. So I gotta close my door. One of them just flew up, seen me, and then turned around and booked. Shit, he's here! Run! I don't need any baby pigeons. They're actually um, doves. And they're stubborn. They will nest anywhere. So we gotta close the garage door when we get out of here. So I'm grabbing my phone and my iPod and my stuff and my coffee. Can't forget my coffee. And I'm going in, guys. Oh man, so close. I'd love to stay out here, but I'll, I won't be able to make it till two in the morning at work. Do what you can when you can.